Hi guys, it's your boy MCHD here and I have another player review for you today. It is the man of the match, Welbeck. And when I saw his card, boy was I impressed with the card stats. I was really looking forward to doing a player review on this guy because his normal card for me was one of the best strikers in the BPL. So I was really happy about that. Unfortunately, I can describe his card in one word. That word is not good. That word is disappointing. So let's get on to his actual features. His dribbling is not improved. I honestly just didn't get it with him because his dribbling is quite high on the card but he still does that thing where if you go too far left or too far right he just stops on the ball, he just doesn't have any sort of movement to him. When you're running in a straight line or slightly to the left or slightly to the right yes it's fine and when you're not sprinting at all it is obviously good but you want to be able to cut left and right in FIFA to be able to get past those defenders really easily and he could not do that for me. Shooting. His finesse shots have improved and his long shots have improved, although saying that I only did score one long shot with him in the five games. Um, I did score 11 goals with him, but that's because I was focusing all of my attention onto Danny Welbeck to try and get him a few goals because I wanted him to be really good, but unfortunately he wasn't. His normal shots in the box and things like that, unreliable, not much different to his normal card. If anything, I'd say less reliable than his normal card because some, for some reason the keeper kept saving really easy chances. He kept mucking up easy chances and it was really quite irritating. His acceleration has improved and I could feel it to be honest. Definitely good acceleration there, so that is one of his positives. And he has the possibility of being an aerial threat, although for me, he personally wasn't because I didn't have many chances to header it in because of his positioning. Although his positioning wasn't that bad for me, the high, high work rates are never good for a striker, so that's why I'm going to put that down as a negative. For a striker, he is actually quite good at passing. I'll give him that much. I got a really funny assist at the end of the video. I'll show you that. Another thing that I really don't like with Danny Welbeck is that he does miss a lot of easy chances. You'll be one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. You know, you're the last man. The keeper's the only one in goal. And I'd go for a finesse shot around the keeper. Doesn't work. Go for a chip. Doesn't work. Go for a normal shot. Doesn't work. And then when it does work, somehow he'll miss or somehow... It just fluffs up. I, I can't explain it. It's just really hard to score with him. I mean, it is quite ridiculous, re really. When you look at the card stats, he shouldn't be that bad at finishing, but somehow he is. And another negative for me would be that he's not that much better than his original card. I don't think he's worth 480k, even though EA did put the price cap on him, and there aren't any on the market because everyone's going crazy about Danny Welbeck. And for some people, maybe he is worth that money. But for me, he wasn't worth it. I'm probably going to sell mine. Although saying that, I probably will keep him because he could be a good investment strategy if EA eventually bump up the prices, considering everyone's buying him at the top value, then he might go up to like 600k. So that's why I'm keeping him. Another negative is that he's weak on the ball. I really wasn't happy with how weak on the ball he was. Whenever a defender just came up, he would just get knocked off the ball. It was really, really irritating. He's one of those players that you really want to do well, but somehow he always lets you down. Another thing to note is he's only got a three-star weak foot and three-star skills. So if you're a skiller, you're not going to like him. And let me also say that his weak foot is absolutely terrible. I never scored... Well, I might have scored one goal on his weak foot. I don't remember scoring one on his weak foot. He is quite dominant at using that right foot. But the times when I have used this weak foot, he is actually really bad. So for these reasons, I'm going to give Welbeck a 7.5 out of 10. Really disappointing card for me. I really wanted him to be one of the best strikers in the... Premier League so I would have kept using him but for me I would much rather have Aguero. So that's going to be the end of the review guys. The pros and cons will be at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did please like, comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you soon. Peace.